Yes, I know about the Manila update. Don't fucking ask me. Hola, niño. For those that are looking at the footage and wondering, why are people looking at me like Brock from Pokemon? And it's not because these people are horny. It's because this is a drum stream. And as you can see in the corner over there, he's actually making me proud by eating that plant pussy. And while he's doing that in the background, we're going to talk specifically about Gaga. Come on, we all knew I was going to make that joke. I haven't seen Godzilla vs. Gigan, so I don't know much about that movie. But what I do know about Gigan is that he's a bitch for leaving Megalon. And it's actually a pretty cool design for a monster, even though the stomach circular saw thing looks kind of painful. I even make him Verret for my jokes. Which, speaking of Verret, uh, buy a Lancey remodel when. In all seriousness, I'll be patient. But right now, we're not talking about Plant Pussy. We're talking about Gigan. And let me tell you something about Gigan and KU. I was honestly at a loss for words. <laughs> On top of looking like he hurts, Gigan himself hurts a lot. And if you had to ask me, out of all the remodels we've had that are so crazy and just made the Kaijus had a massive glow up, this is one of the biggest ones. And, uh... Where do I start? The first move is just a typical bitch smack, so we're gonna skip that one. His second attack does three ticks, so... Alright, there's a three tick move. Let's see how much damage it does. Oh my. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's 60 more damage than a behemoth stomp. Let's just keep going. The third move basically makes you become a walking chainsaw, so not only is pressing three a good attack, but I recommend using it for building farming and also using it to mow the lawn. His fourth move makes him do a smash attack, and that does a beautiful 725 damage. Look, I don't know if I made it clear, but if I haven't, I'll explain it for you right now. This thing was built for melee combat, and by far the best moves you can use is Pulverize and Rend. Doing the superhero landing with Pulverize, which you know what I'm talking about, everyone does it. Combining that with Rend and hitting all three ticks, you get a terrifying 1,685 damage. I think you guys get it, especially when you can fly. You can just fly away, come back, and deal the same amount of damage. Even though I'm fighting Manda and he has the ability to stop you from flying with his Whirlpool, I can easily escape by pressing three and then use my beam Automize to cut his health in half. And that's what Gigan is built for, cutting things in half like this thermo godzilla or as i call it tomato zilla there is no limit to my power i'll cut it in whoops uh he cut the video in half don't worry because i have the rest of the footage Sorry about that. Now, obviously his one weakness is that he doesn't have that much health, but i consider it fine because he actually has damage to make up for the health. But there is something that makes Gigan super annoying to fight. And anyone who has played when the remodel first dropped knows how infuriating it is to try to beat a Gigan. Not only do Gigans have tendencies to team every now and then, but it's so hard to kill them because they can escape so easily. And unfortunately, my heart was broken for I have accidentally hit a plant pussy. And even though one of my viewers is saying ahoy to me, I was too blind to see it because my heart was shattered. Not only does his third attack help you escape from fights, his V move is also built from it, which is basically the smoke bomb from Cuphead. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think I have to explain this. You could literally just dodge almost any scenario. So yeah, overall, Gigan is a good kaiju, but how much does this cost? Because it sounds like it'd be really expensive. <laughs> New York City. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. What's going on here?